the second half of the conversation, we unpack the process and journey that has gotten them where they are today. Like, you know that thing of, um, show me your friends, I'll show you your future type thing, you know? Like, just be sure, like, who you actually trust and who you actually put in your, in your circle and, yeah, who you actually, like, have around have you. Around you someone that links up with what you want to do. Want to do, basically, man. And I also realized that, with that being said, like, also with that project, I feel a little separate rush because it's funny, like, <laughs> this is what the project meant to me, but then at the same time, I had a lot of pressure, you know, because it's like, people knew that I rapped, you know, like, a lot of people knew that I rapped, they're like, yo, when's the project coming out, when's the project we're coming out? Yeah, bro, we were waiting for a long time, and I was like, damn, bro, like, I have to, like, drop something and stuff like that, you know, and then, like, it's funny because like now I'm realizing that yo, I should have actually like not even given into that pressure. You know, mm. I should have like actually even relaxed a bit more, come up with more concerts. But it's not a regret, regret or anything. It's a learning curve. Mm. Whoever, whoever's talking about you or what they say you should be doing, where you should be at in life, you know. Because I feel like me. Let me let me talk about me actually. Like I'm not going to be talking about like people think like think like this. But like with me, like I look at Instagram, I look at Facebook, I see people like yo. You doing this, like you're about to finish your degree, you be like, you're working now and shit like that. And I'm like, I'm feeling pressured to be like, yo, I should have five albums out now. You yeah. know, I'm 21, what am I doing with my life and shit like 20. that? But to, oh. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I'm trying to I'm trying to focus on that million I'm gonna get next year, but uh. yeah, USD, you know. If you know, you know. So yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, um but like that type of pressure and shit like that is something that you shouldn't really give into. Like we all have our own like timelines you know like someone could like blow up next year or in two years time you know and i could like blow up in, in five years time six years time but then the difference is like what if i stay longer than the person that's um which is what happens in most cases most, yeah. even the longevity of your career because like the intention is different the other person was just to get rich quick and he was to make a good body of work you know so that's also like Something I wish of, I wish of, I, I would have taken my own advice, you know, of it trusting my brother. It, it was worth it because like now I know, okay, yeah, I actually have moving something forward. out moving forward. Like I know that like, the mistakes that I made and yeah. stuff like that, and I'm able to build from there. And it's not yeah. a bad project, man. I enjoy it. Oh, right, thank, you, it. Man. <laughs> thank you. So yeah. I enjoy it. It's not a bad project. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. And um, I have a single with this um, girl named Katia. She's from Poland. Yeah. You know, yeah so. I had that, yeah, the, how, how that actually came about was um, she actually heard um, one of my songs off Instagram mm -hmm. from the trust, from, from trust by Verify, you know, and she was like, yo, this is actually really dope. Who do, what, do, you, do you want to work on something? And I was like, yeah, definitely. And then I actually like sent her like, I think I sent her like four beats the next day or whatever. And then she picked one of them and she was like, yeah, let's, let's, work, let's work on this one. And then, yeah, we, like, that's how we made the song. So, come on, look, would you say when you like go into photography, do you work from an element of, you know, I must get inspired and my inspiration will be my muse and I'm gonna do it that way? Or do you work from a side of, you know what, let me get to work, let me, you know, take pictures, let me do gigs, let me go, someone calls me up, I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna take pictures. Or it's like something must come to you, like yeah. how you have this yeah. connection. If you hear what I mean, like. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. We spoke about this. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say this inspiration is a scam, guys. There's no such thing as inspiration, bro. Thanks. And I'm only learning that now. Not so long ago, I realized, like, with this, especially, like, if you're doing it the way we're doing it, it's like, we're self-taught, bro, and we're going to learn how to be professionals. And as much as, personally, I might not necessarily be a fan of the education system. I love education. I love to learn, but not the system. I'm not system a fan of that. But, the the, yeah, the systems that they have within the school the three hours of learning, the break, and that, 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 if you apply that to your hustle, mm -hmm. magical things happen, bro. So they have a very, the perfect structure for as far as like, you know, the work ethic and the discipline. So am I ever inspired to work? Yes, it happens on occasions. Like right now I'm inspired, I want to go shoot. But 90% of the time I'm not inspired. But I go and work because it's something I have to do, bro. They say the professional shows up every day, dog. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to learn that. I'm not saying I show up every day. <laughs> I am learning. Yeah. I'm learning. Yeah. But I try every day. I can so tell you that for yourself, sure. Bro. Yeah. I, yeah, I try every do day. do something. Yeah, but eventually I feel like I'll get to a point where 
I'm just showing up every day, bro. But I'm trying. And that counts for something as opposed to two years ago where I would shoot like three times in a month or whatever, though. I know for a fact that I'm trying and I'm learning. So yeah, the work that will increase over time. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Right. So what I want to talk about now is something that you mentioned, Uzi, which is being self-taught. And I know, Nati, when we started this, you said how you, you're you a mixing engineer, yeah. how you're a rapper, a songwriter, yeah. producer. Yeah, what made you decide to, you know what, I'm going to learn all of these things and yeah. do it myself? Yeah, so primarily it started off because like I didn't know anyone that could do it. You know, I didn't know any producers. I didn't know any um, engineers or anything like that. So to start off, it was just a thing out of necessity. It yeah. was like, I even got to the point where like, because I didn't know how to produce, produce and stuff like that. It went to a point where I downloaded type beats, you know, Drake type beats, Kanye type beats, you know. But then when I did that, I ran into another problem. It's like, I didn't know how to record myself. You know, I didn't know how that whole process worked. So then I also went on to YouTube and was like, yo, how do you record? And then I, I got introduced to this whole world of like, yo, this is how you do this is how you record yourself. You have to have an interface, a proper mind. I remember we were talking about it earlier, but like um, that job that we had with canoeing the, at the lake. At the lake. Imagine that like I took that job so that I could get an interface, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it's been on my mind like like for for like forever, you know. So you have your own equipment set up at your own place? Everything I do myself, own mic, own interface and everything. I mix, record, record myself even, you know. Press mm. record, quickly run, <laughs> record myself and say my verse or whatever the case might be, yeah. you know. And it's like, people like try cap what you can learn there, you know. They'll be like, nah, you can't really go in depth or what, but people don't mm. share information like, like that. Like if you were to go to a school e- for it. Exactly, bro. And like, you said you enjoyed my album, right? Yeah, and it's like, much. Th- that's crazy for me because like, everything that, like, that the whole making of that album was me just learning things off YouTube. Like, mm. how do you make beats? How do you make this type of beat? Like, how do you engineer? How do you get your vocals right? How do you... I was asking all these questions, how do you do this? And like, just figuring it out. And I spent zero on any, like, educational institution for music or anything like that. So yeah. you can really do it yourself and, like, make something really, really good. I agree. Because yeah. online, YouTube is really a plan. Yeah, it really is. Really There's never really been a time like this ever throughout history, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. yeah. Ever that we have access to so much information, but people still choose though yeah. to take it lightly. Yeah, because think about it, bro. Like people like Einstein, bro. Like imagine if they had YouTube, bro. Yeah. Imagine if they had YouTube and like could learn everything <laughs> that they. Because like for them, like if they wanted to know how this works, they had to go to a library or maybe mm. order a book that's in England or whatever, mm. whatever. Like now you can just search that thing. You can even get like maybe cracks for like PDF books even. Yeah. Like if business books, you can get that online, but like... Yeah, but, but you know, cracking but, is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I, do, I just searched it one day, but I was like, no, I have, you know, like some standards I won't go cross that line, but... What am I talking about now? So it's, it's the same with you also, because everything was just like, I'll learn it. Oh yeah. For me, dog. I've always been like that, dog. Like, I don't, I don't like this idea of waiting for someone or anyone. But I remember being, how old was I? I was like 14, bro, when I learned. No, I was actually 12, dog, when I wanted to make a video. I was like, how do you edit, dog? Like, there's always that curiosity, bro. That's what that. Yeah, and like, I literally searched, like, so now, now, like, being self-taught is a thing. But like, 2012, dog, who was talking about self-taught? Mm. Pretty much no one, dog. So I've, I've always had like that curiosity and it's just never been a thing for me to wait until I'm done with school to go and learn. So I feel like I'm wasting time. Um, I think there's a question that just came into me that I think would be a dope one. Is yeah. How did your parents feel with you guys deciding that this is the path you want to take? Because I know like most parents, you say you want to become a rapper and, yeah, it's, and like, it's like, uh, who is it? You want to yeah, go yeah. rap? Like I, yeah. How was you know, coming to your mom with that, or did she, or is she seeing it already, or how is things with that? Yeah, mom? like, she was like, as, as understanding as a mother would be, like, she still, still does have those fears of like, yo, I don't want my son to like, you know, fail and like, don't have something to fall back on, but at the same time, she was like, yo, what you want to do, pursue it. I don't want to get in the way of you pursuing your dream. So she's always giving me that freedom of like, yo, do what you need to do, because I don't want you like, later on in life, 30 years old, you looking back like you're a mom. 
if I actually pursued rap, like what if I could have been like this and like that, you know? So big ups to my moms for like actually being like, okay, yeah, you can do what you want to do. You want to go to school. support you with it. Exactly, a hundred percent, as much as a mother could, you yeah. know? But she still does have those like, eat. then she wants something to fall back on, as she should as a mother, as she cares for me and wants me to like, be somebody, you know? So like, but then for the hunt, like hundred percent, but she's, like supporting because your friend. mom's a teacher bro. yeah man it's crazy right she's a yeah, teacher yeah your mom was a teacher and yeah. she was finally you not going on at school that's Cra- even crazier bro grandmother auntie also bro teachers, teachers bro yeah. family of teachers bro and yeah. for me to like nah I'm not your school, grandmother's bro. a teacher yeah she was a teacher bro <laughs> crazy bro like one of the best but she was a principal even bro ha! it's crazy Ooh. bro yeah, it's crazy bro. but that's the same with me like my my yeah. dad's mom and my dad's dad, both of them are principals. Yeah. Which is like, it's crazy. Your dad's mom. Yeah, and the, the like your both of them. Your parents. Your grandparents. Yeah. Both my yeah. grandparents, oh, mom and dad. Yeah. He's making it sound like it's something. <laughs> oh, no, the <laughs> thing is how you have, you have grandparents on your yeah. dad's side, your mom's side. Yeah. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. now you so oh, I was trying to make yeah. it clear that like, yeah. my dad grew up with both his parents yeah. being principals. But anyway, with you, Kubi, how was it coming to your mom and your parents? It's pretty much the same thing, but I only live with my mom's and um, the thing is with my mom, bro, like, she's one person who's never told me what to do, ever, bro, like, mm-hmm. it's so deep, even with school, dog, my mom has never told me to study, <laughs> like, never, dog, never, and you would think, like, this person is, like, so she can trust yeah. you with, yeah, dog, like, she never tells me what to do, dog, and it's like, I'm not gonna be dumb and take advantage of that and do other things, but I looked at, at that freedom as, okay, I have freedom to do what's right for me, dog. And anything I've ever done in my life, she's always supported, bro. From, I don't playing soccer, dog. I told her, I joined the club. She's like, okay, what do you need? I'm like, I need boots. A week later, dog, she get me boots. This kid, what, anything I needed in order for me to be happy, dog. My mom, she told me, she's like, if she realized that as a parent, you know, the way to make her happy, dog, is by making myself happy. Like, what makes me happy makes her happy, dog, because I, I guess for her, seeing a smile on my face is what's important. So yeah, dog, like, I, I feel like I have the greatest mother on the planet, dog. Yeah. Never told me to study, dog. <laughs> it's different, <laughs> dog. It's different. Yeah. It stands out. Um, next question would be, since like, I've had you guys come on together, because you guys even have, like, you work together, you collaborate together, I just wanna know where did the friendship start? Like, how did you know Groovy, Kamu, and Gosnati? Because like we went to all, all three of us went to the same high school, yeah. and I know in high school Gosnati and I were your friends, and then yeah. slowly but surely I saw how you guys became friends. Like, how did yeah. that form about? How did it come together? Do you wanna tell it or should I tell it? The friendship officially started 2017. <laughs> Do you wanna tell it? Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know, bro, like, it was around the time I told you I was a part of, like, my friends and they made music, right? Mm. So, it's like, with that, being in that group also, my thing was just like, yeah, dog, like, I feel like we should get more artists. And I knew that Nati rapped, I don't know how, but there was a point, it was, it was like those times where, I think twice I approached them and I was like, yo, dog, can you freestyle? Like, I just enjoyed it, bro, and, like, there's something that really stood out about him, so I was like, I just want to be around that guy, dog, and then, um... Obviously, makes music. He, he raps, dog. But it's like a lot of people rapped in high school, dog. But there yeah. was just something that like stood out about him intuitively for me, dog. It just felt right for me to want to be around a guy like this. And I'd say for the most part, one thing that brings us together, dog, is just the desire to be great, dog, and just work. Because I don't make music, but you know he mm. makes music. But never mind that like, creativity, dog. Just idea of just us wanting to be something bro i think that's what really brings us together and we try to help each other in everything that we do yeah, and what drew me to groovy bro was just this hustle bro like from the first like first few days or first few weeks bro like i knew him as a person bro mm. like the first thing like i asked him like yo can you get some software for me because like i was struggling i couldn't get any software mm. like I think the next weekend or a couple of days after, he was like, yo, I got it, bruh, on a stick, here's the stick, and he gave it to me, bruh, like, cool. just then, like, quick, bruh, like, I remember, like, a lot of people, like, I'd have conversations with, like, people, like, other people that were, like, into music and stuff like that, and I'd be like, yo, can you give me some software, can you get this, and it would take months, and then I wouldn't end up getting it, or whatever, 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 and then it was, like, an eye-opener for me, like, yo, this dude, I asked him once, and a few days after, he got it for me, so I was like, yeah, this is a guy I, uh, I want to be around. Yeah. Okay. 
I've, I've, I've never been on some, let's go out or let's yeah. go get girls or let's do this or do that, but it's always been about the work though. Yeah. Just always been about taking it to the top. Yeah. As you said, I, I feel like you guys' conversations, I mean, when you're together, it's no bullshit. People would be offended if they were together. Hey, the same man. Way. <laughs> For real, though. Yeah. Not that we say foul things, but it's like, I feel like people would be amazed, like, wow. You guys think that far ahead, yeah. oh, and that's the wow. conversation. Yeah, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm even comfortable saying it out in public, like some of the things that you say, dog. Like, yeah, just yeah. really crazy. But I feel like you have to be a little bit crazy, dog, in your yeah. mind in order for you to, you know, go for what you and believe in, dog. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's, it's not easy, bro. A lot of people don't have the guts to say, "I'm gonna burn my ships. I'm not gonna." do it the way most people have done it, I'm gonna do it the way I feel is right though. And I realized like just off studying successful people, those are the people that tend to make it though as opposed to playing life safe. Yeah. You know. So yeah. It's like you also just have to have that, that self belief and self confidence that you are gonna be great, you know. That's right, so we've reached the last question of the day and this one pretty much inspired also this channel, which is deep because speaking on the envisioned self which is pretty much reaching your full potential, your full aspirations, and you know, being the best black man that you can be. So, that's the question I wanna pose to you guys, is what would you say is your envisioned self, your full aspiration, what you guys wanna be remembered as, and your name stand for? You wanna go first, Kubi? Um, for me, I think it's just a matter of legacy. Um, I don't know, I don't know anything about my 50 year old self, though. But one thing I could tell you about me right now is just longevity as far as success, bro. You know, to a point where I don't even have to shoot. <laughs> but I will shoot, though. But I'll, I'll, do, I'll always work. But it's just a matter of just setting up, you know, things right for myself and for my family, bro. Yeah. Just financial freedom and generational wealth. That's what I'm focused on, bro. And that's, that's my envision self. And also just as far as, like, being a man, you know, I'm also in the process of learning what that actually is. So, yeah, I'm also still trying to learn that and just be an honorable man, bro. And, you know, and be financially free. That, I think that's the goal for me. With you, because that, for me, it's really just being the greatest, you know, just in terms of not even like, but like what people see me as, or like the accolades or anything like that. I just want to achieve mastery. You know? being the best at what I do, like being really good at it. Mm. Like really like honing hours in and like, you know, like when people just listen to me like first off you just feel like yeah, this person puts it work in you know? like I just want like my intention with this is that I want to like innovate, you know, like bring something new into the industry in South Africa with music actually. You know, that's where my goal is just being the best at what I do. Period, you know, just being the greatest of all time. That's what I want. That's what I want to be, and that's where I want to go. You know, right now. simply put, yeah, right now, simply put. Ten years from now, I don't know. I might be want to be the greatest architect to hold, the greatest. I don't know, no, fashion no designer. Barriers. Yeah, just, no barriers. Yeah, just be. But as long, but just know, whatever I do, I will be the greatest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah will be. That goes without saying. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh, yeah, well, I just want to say thank you, James, for coming through. I appreciate sure you were able to sit, have this conversation. I mean, thank you really for also yeah. calling us to talk to the camera. That's amazing. Cool. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This is the Envisioned Grind. Nipsey Hustle, yeah, Victory yeah. Lab, out. Yeah, Go. check it out, check it out. Uh, feeling really conscious about something that really stepped up. Never popped the money, but peer pressure is real. I see him feel his presence on Facebook, he will kill. Your self-esteem dream and everything in between. I'm feeling like Marcus Garvey. But Instagram tell me something that contradicts how I feel. The numbers, they are a lie. They don't define who you are. Shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs>